Okay, I'm sorry. I've composed myself now. I just get so excited to talk to y'all. I have the same shirt on that I had on in the other video. I promise you it's a different day. I just have been lazy wearing the same stuff. So, sorry about that. And that's ratchet, is it? Is that my bra strap? That's my... So sorry, guys. So sorry. So sorry. Y'all always look so good on your, you know, on your channel. And I'm just like, okay. And then I get on here and I'm just looking like a little scary. Okay, it's okay. All right. Anyway, so I wanted to talk about a misconception um, regarding what it means to follow Christ or Christianity or whatever. So. I think one of the biggest misconceptions about uh, following Christ is that it just happens. You know, we just are. You know, we just are Christ followers. We just, that's just what it is. You know, we just, we just love the Lord and that's all there is to it, honey. Um, no. And it's one thing to say it and it's one thing to do it. And it, it really, really does take work. So, um, I just want to talk about that a little bit. Um, I was watching a science little show for kids, uh, the other day. Don't ask me, don't ask me why. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't judge me. Um, I was watching a show the other day and it was um, a show for kids. You know, I have children, so, you know, whatever. Um, they were um, talking about the mind, right? So the girl was saying, I'm going to read you what I wrote. I was just, I was doing studying. I was doing my studying, you know, uh, my Bible and all that. And I just wrote this stuff down, did not intend for this to be something that was just really out or something that I really just shared like this, but you know, God has other plans, you know, you know, so I'm just going to read you what I wrote. So when we first start doing a new thing, it is like going down a narrow wooded path with a machete in our brain, in our brain. When we first start doing a new thing, it's like going down a narrow wooded path with a machete. Just imagine that. Just trying to get all the, you know, leaves and bushes and trees out the way and stuff as you walk. Okay. That's what it's like when we first start doing something new. Um, but in time, the brain doesn't use all of those gazillion responders. And that's what's happening whenever you're, uh, whenever it's like that in the brain, whenever it, it's like going down a narrow wooded path with a machete. That's what it's like. It's 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 doing that because your brain is using uh, a lot of of receptors, responders, whatever you call them, and it's trying to adjust to the new thing that you're doing. So um, it's saying, but in time, sorry, but in time. The brain doesn't use all those gazillion responders or receptors. And it only uses the ones needed to do that specific new thing. Then at that point in the brain, it's like flying down a wide open highway. So you can imagine when you first start doing a new thing, it's using that machete going down that narrow wooded path. But when, but after a while of continuing to do that thing, it's like, zooming down a wide open highway, right? So I think that is something that is so, so, so amazing. And then here's the next part. The info between the responders flows faster with more ease and you are able to do it better and better. So the brain literally has to change 
to accommodate learning this new thing. Woo! I love it. Now, listen, this is the thing I love about rolling with Jesus. You'll be doing something normal. And then you are just, he had dropped that revelation down in there and it'll be like, that thing is preaching to you. And it's not even, you know, it's something just in the natural, it seems that you're watching, but there's always something that God is trying to say to you. So you'll find yourself getting revelations off of stuff that is just not even seemingly not anything to do with Christ. But anyway, I thought that was so great because we, we kind of neglect the work that it takes to be a follower of Christ, to do this good, you know, to do this well. And what does that even mean to do this well? So you don't just like follow, just say, Jesus, I love you. And then just, you know, say I'm rolling with Jesus. No, 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 no. Because it's so easy to straddle the fence, meaning to live the way you used to live and live the way you want to live or the, the new way you've decided to live, it's so easy to straddle the fence and so easy to not even recognize that you haven't given up all the things that you, you should give up in order to do this well, you know? And what do I mean by do this well? So <laughs> to do something in a, in a bad way or to do it not very well is to basically not not be very successful at it or for it to be a, a super tough thing as you're doing it that's how you do something not so well so if we think about that as it relates to following Christ um to not do it well would basically mean that we are straining to do it you know and not to say that that won't happen in the beginning, but it shouldn't be that way always. We are setting ourselves up for it to not for not everything to be such a struggle anymore. It shouldn't be so hard to not watch that pornography. It shouldn't be so hard to not hang around those same people who just want to do nothing and want to and, and only want to want to bring trouble. It shouldn't be so hard to try to quit some of the things that you're trying to quit. There should be come a time where it becomes easier, where it becomes more of a, more of a, 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 a excited willingness, uh, to do this rather than it being something like you a slave and you're like, eh, but the Lord going to get me that. That shouldn't always be, uh, the, the posture of your relationship with God It's something so much more than that. This is not just no, Oh, he's Lord and, you know, I'm a servant. Indeed, we are servants, but this is a whole different dynamic of relationship. He is not man. So we like to correlate, you know, things to to the things that we understand. But with God, it's you have to learn him and learn that he is way different than us here. There are some things that are similar and we can kind of use analogies to understand. But there are lots of things that are, are a bit different with him. So, um. You want to def. I say all that to say, you want to definitely set yourself up to do this well, to do this where it's not such a struggle. It's not so tough. It's not something that um, you understand to just happen. Okay, let's get that out of the brain. Following Christ does not just happen. And people are not just because they look like, oh, I'm so holy that don't even mean anything. Okay. Every, you have to really know yourself and decide within yourself. What, is, what is it that I'm doing? Am I, am I really this or am I not? When there's nobody around, what is this like? What is this relationship like? What am I thinking? What am I feeling? You know, and what, what am I practicing? Um, so let's relate it to any other type of relationship here. Um, if we want to, be good at that relationship, meaning our role in that relationship. We want to be good at that. We want to, uh, uh, be a good wife. Then we might do things that will help us learn how to do that. Maybe we'll learn how to cook. Maybe we'll learn how to, you know, learn what things we need to work on so we can listen more or maybe, you know, whatever. So there are certain things that you can do as well to learn how to do this well with Christ. You want to be able to hear from him better. You want to be able to discern things better. You want to be able to, um, 
you want to you want to have the desire you ever wanted to desire something a lot of people just like you know you see them and they're like i I just want i just want to worship i just want to go to church i just want to i just want to serve on this usher ministry or the board of this and this you know what Everybody is not like that. And sometimes it actually takes work for you to want to get into those things. And everybody, everybody's interests will not be the same. So, you know, there may be some people that are used to old school type of stuff, but there may be, you know, for, for you, there may be, um, a, a newer, different type of ministry where, you know, you like to serve more. You like to serve in a different way. Uh, you like to do maybe what I'm doing. You like to come on and inspire people or uplift people or enlighten people. You know, everyone's ministry is, is different. So, um, you want to find out what it is that you really, really like to do already, and then see how you can do that for Christ. But in order to even get to the place of, doing this thing well, you want to posture yourself to even be in place for it. So when I first started uh, wanting to get closer to Christ, I would have to start, and I still do this today, I have to, I have to start doing things that are tailored towards him or are centered around him instead of just looking for it to come to me, uh, you know, on Sunday or whatever, when I go to church or whatever. So I started listening to worship music, you know, um, I, I, I listened to the secular music a little less. Now your path is going to be your path. You know, this was me. I know that I needed to listen to secular less and listen to worship more. So I started to listen to worship more and sorry. I started to listen to worship more and I um, started to make it a point to when I get up in the morning, read my Bible or when I get ready to go to sleep, um, you know, read my Bible or when I get up in the morning, do a devotional or throughout the day, you know, instead of doing that one thing at lunch, maybe I will listen to a worship song or maybe I would read a scripture um, or um I would have certain things in the house around me that remind me of Christ. Maybe I'll have a scripture on the wall or or maybe I'll, you know, um, have my Bible out instead of under the shelf or something. You know, it is an intentional step after step after step that helps you get to the place where you can be in a better position to do this well. Okay, and not feel like it's such a burden and it's so hard to do it or it's something that's just so big and people are just so holier than thou. forget about everyone else this is your relationship with God there will be things that look different that you do there will be things that you need that are different than what other people need but if you know that this is what you want to do you want to serve Christ you want to learn him beyond uh what people what you've seen all the hype you know with people hollering whoop glory caught the holy Ghost. you want to learn him beyond all this fluff and you really want to get down to the nitty-gritty like who are you god who are you in my life what do you think about me like you want to learn these real things then you gotta you gotta do the work you gotta posture yourself it's not gonna just come yes he's already seeking us he's already looking for us he's already you already felt that tug on your heart like he's wanting to get your attention but it's going to require that you do your part. Um, this, this, what I just read you about how the brain works and how it has to literally change to do something new. Um, doesn't that sound familiar? So I know we know the scripture. Um, sorry, let me find it. We know the scripture, Romans 12 and 2, right? It's the do not be uh, or do not conform to the pattern of this world. There's different versions, but do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now, there's there's more in that scripture as well. But I always like to say that... Uh, It says be, right? Be 
transform. And so when I hear that, I, 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 I equate that to God doing something, to something happening to me. Like, like I'm being chased. I am um, being pursued. Right? So, in order to be changed, that tells me that there is an outside force that has to do that, or at least help me to do that. Right? So, we can take that weight off. Right? Right? We do have to change our minds, like I was just reading here. But God does the other part, right? So it is not it's not all on us. But our part is posturing ourselves to be in position to be able to 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 receive this or to do this right. Okay, and I'm sorry this is so long. So um we need to get ourselves in position for this. And the way that we do that is to start changing our habits. We change our habits. Our mind starts to really get used to things. You know how you wake up sometimes, like even on the weekends, you wake up early in the morning as if it was time to go to work. Your body is used to that right now. Your, by, by this time, your body is used to that. And that's just what your body's going to do, no matter what day it is, because that's what you've been doing over and over. It also is the same thing with this. It takes that work. You got to you gotta work this thing. The enemy is, is, is trying hard. He's trying hard. He puts on his best to get up in the morning and to come after you and do his thing and try to affect you in whatever way he's going to try to affect you to cause your demise. So for you, if you think that you're going to get up and this thing is just going to happen, honey, it's not. But this can be a beautiful thing. OK, and it can be uh, less of a of a of a burdensome thing. So we just have to be intentional about it. So let's start putting those things in front of us that remind us of Christ. That way we will be more um, apt to go and, and, and participate in those things. And then our life will slowly start to center, uh, have, have be centered around Christ and be more involved with Christ. And it won't seem like it's something that you're forcing all the time. Uh, one piece of advice that was given to me, uh, I asked, you know, what is the best way to get my kids to eat vegetables more? And one of the things that I was told was when dinner time comes, you know, they're very, very hungry, set things out on the table that are healthy, that they'll snack on while you're cooking, which means might be vegetables, you know, some sort of, you know, broccoli or, you know, whatever carrots or whatever. Things that they will snack on because they're already hungry and they're trying to wait on you. But this, this food smelling good and it's not ready yet. But I do got this right here. This this is convenient. This is right in front of me. So they're just going to grab it and start to snack on it after a while. And I thought that was such a great thing because we do that. We do that. If something is convenient, we might pick it up, even if it's not our first choice. It's there. So I'm going to do it. It's the same thing with this. Start putting things in front of you that will help you start to participate more or at least that will help you keep God more at the forefront of your mind so that it won't be such a back burner thing like, oh, shoot, I, I was going to read my Bible. I forgot. And now it's time for you to go to bed and you about to fall asleep. Put these things in front of you so that you can learn to participate in these things. You can you can know I'm going to grab this. Uh, or, or, oh, I see that scripture over there. That reminds me, uh, I, I need to do a quick prayer or something. You're going to have to start posturing your life differently. You already have your own set of things that you're doing, your own set of habits, your own set of activities that you're usually used to doing on a daily basis. Those things are going to have to be the things that drive your relationship with God. You're going to have to somehow intentionally start to put him in front of you. So that you can remember to walk with him. Isn't that something? Um, don't let anyone make you feel out of sorts or feel bad for just it not coming naturally. They are lying to you if they say this is something ju that just comes naturally. just happens. No, honey. No. No, no, no. You have to put this stuff in front of you so that you can begin to do it. You can remember to do it. It's the same concept that is with everything else. So if, if, if someone says that to you, that they're lying. Same reason that we have calendars 
and we have uh, notifications and and certain things like these are all things to help us remember, help us, bring us back to where we're supposed to be when there's something important. So it's no different here. We just have to posture ourselves to do this well. All right. So I'm so sorry this is so long. If you made it through this video, I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I, I, that was lame. That Don't do that ever. That's not part of the walk. Anyway, so if you made it, I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. This was on my heart. I am, trust me, if I'm long with it, forgive me, forgive me. Okay, I am, I am trying to learn how to say things in a more organized manner. But some of this stuff just kind of flows out when I'm talking. And even if I have my things set up here, like, oh, this is what I'm going to do. But anyway, thanks for bearing with me, y'all. I love you. And you know, it's always real over here. It's all real. You see all this stuff behind me? You know it's real. You know it is. Why? Because it's the walk. Live. <laughs> love y'all.